Hey you guys, what's going on? I'm jumping on really quickly and briefly to um, talk to you guys really quick about not being afraid um, to ask for help. Um, Psalms 54 and 4, the A part says, Behold, God is my helper and my ally. God um, is our helper and our ally. If we tell him that we need help, he will send us the things that we need help with. But we have to humble ourselves enough and um, not let our pride get in the way of us asking for help. Because our pride does hinder us um, for re from receiving a lot of blessings. And before I go any further, actually, um, my beautiful little sister, Alexis, um, but known on YouTube as Fixated on Christ, she did a um, video regarding pride. And I'm going to link that in the description box, so please check that out as well. But, um, yes, yeah, like I was saying... Pride does hinder us from receiving a lot of a lot of blessings that God has for us because we're so I got this I got this we sometimes don't know how to um, humble ourselves and ask for help like with me when I was um, in my teenage years you know my mom always told me my mom calls me dunk everybody so when you hear me say that that's what my mom calls me. Um, my mom would always say, Dunk, it's okay. You can use these um, organizations, these things. They're here to help you. You know, they're not saying that you're less than because you need these things to help you. They're here to help you. Like, at first, I wouldn't even let my mother park in a handicapped spot because she had it so embedded in me that nothing was wrong with me that I was like, I got this. I can walk this walk. But when I got to the door, it was tired. But I still didn't want her to park, you know, in the um, in the handicapped spot. And even with, like, things that I was able to get help with for school, like getting me a computer and all that stuff, I just wanted to do those things on my own that I was so, like, fearful that if I would ask for help, that people will automatically um, revert me back to disable Ebony and not just see Ebony. But, again, when I laid my pride to the side and no longer became afraid to ask for help, um, things started, you know, to open up for me. And even in my adult life now, even with my husband or whatever, sometimes he has to be like, Babe, let me help you. Let me do this because I'm such a, I got this type of person. I can do this. Like, I don't want anyone to feel like I need them. And that's not saying that in a bad sense. But the way that my mind is set up, though, like, my cerebral palsy doesn't hinder me. So, I just go. And sometimes people do have to tell me to stop or let me help you, you know. Um, but I just encourage you all not to be afraid to ask for help. Because you never know who's willing to help you. And you never know who's in that same situation that you need help with. So, again, the Lord, the Lord is your helper and your ally. So when you cry out to him and say that he need you need him, you need his help, he will provide that for you. It might not be in the way that you think, but he always provides. So don't keep that mouth closed. You know, like the old saying goes, a closed mouth don't get fed. But I'm going to change that around and say a closed mouth don't get help. So until next video, men and women of God, be blessed, be encouraged, keep pressing, keep fighting, keep praising.